Two vibrant film biographies are available for viewing this week. And here to review King Richard and Tick, Tick, Boom, our film critics Pam Powell and Chuck Kaplinski. They tried to take that right off of me. I was talking. Oh. Anyway, oh, welcome, they? guys. They how were are looking you? at the important things here. <laughs> how are you? Right. Oh, and your ego you just took a hit, but how are you? That's right. quite a no. It, it's really totally fun. Well, I was so confused me. while you I were was, doing... It was moving, and okay. I was trying to follow it. Oh, it okay. <laughs> well, let's talk King Richard, because this one seems like it could be a real winner. And it is. It truly is. It's about Venus and Serena Williams, and everyone knows that they are powerhouses of the tennis world. But nobody knows their backstory, at least I didn't, and I love tennis. They were raised in Compton, and their father and their mother and their three sisters banded together much like a team in order to be able to create two of the most powerhouses of the tennis world. Um, here we see uh, Venus and Serena Williams in their home in Compton, and they have a pretty rough start. Will Smith plays their father, Richard, who... Let's face it, he's a little wacky. Um, people probably thought he was a little crazy back in the day. He has very unique ways of going about raising these children to be the best tennis players. In fact, he had a plan. And his plan was always, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. And that was his motto. He worked these girls hard, and a lot of the neighbors and the people thought that he worked them too hard. But he did have that plan to make them the best tennis players in the world. He convinced people to back him and back his children. Um, he had had a very odd way of going about things, but he was successful in his own way. This is a beautiful film. It is a vibrant film, and it is an enlightening film and inspiring. This is a family film that everyone can take something away from, and the cool thing about this biopic is that it could have been really sappy and kitschy, and it's not. It tells the family's warts and all the bumps and bruises that they had along the way. It's not beautiful, it's real, and I loved it. I've seen it twice. We were lucky enough to interview the two young girls that play Venus and Serena, who had never played tennis before, and you would never know it to watch wow. this film. Wow. Incredible sports scenes to see these tennis players um, in action incredible film make sure you take your family to see this and and knowing the end although it's not totally the end of yeah. the story but knowing sort of how well they've done yeah. after all this is really pretty cool it, it, it tells you that if you have a dream you follow it and you can hang on to your family and have those values and integrity and don't let anybody stand in your way as long as you have that sense of value it's pretty well, cool and you got to see an interview or Will Smith out yeah, in L.A., yeah. so that had to have been cool. It was amazing. What a performer. I mean, he is a performer through and through, and we've got clips on our Facebook page. You can take a look at those. Okay. It told me back in 1990 when I was singing to Summertime that he was going to be a, <laughs> an international movie right. star. I never would have believed it. I, but I think he's going to be an Oscar winner in the spring. <gasps> really? Oh, All right. Okay. What about Tick, Tick, Boom? <laughs> Tick, Tick, Boom is another biography. This is about a guy named Jonathan Larson, and if you know Broadway, you know this name. This is the guy who wrote Rent, uh, but... He tragically did not live long enough to see the success of Rent. And Tick, Tick, Boom is about his earlier days, his earlier struggles. And this was a uh, production he wrote in which he called it a rock monologue. Lin-Manuel Miranda of Hamilton fame directs this film. And what he does is that he takes Tick, Tick, Boom, recreates it, and then he intertwines musical numbers in which we see Larson's personal life. This is all about his struggles, uh, writing, trying to get known, trying to get produced, trying to be heard, but also juggling all those things you need to do, like paying bills and working and believing in yourself after everyone says, hey, this is no good, you're never going to make it. It's about believing in that dream that only you can see is going to take place. Garfield, I've always liked him, but boy, he blew me away here. The guy can sing and dance, too. And play the really? Piano. Yeah, I mean, he can. he's Spider-Man, he's dramatic, he sings, he dances. He kept me hooked in this movie because I ended up really liking Larson, I ended up really pulling for him, and that made all those musical moments mean something, and that's what's important in a musical to me. This is on uh, Netflix, uh, premiering tomorrow. As I say, I'm not a musical fan, but this one took me away. I really liked it. That's saying something if I say that about a musical. I oh. suppose it is. Okay, you said Netflix? Netflix, yes. Where's uh, the one, where's uh, King Richard? Everywhere, King right? Richard is going to be in theaters, which is where I highly recommend seeing it, but it is also going to be streaming on HBO, at HBO Max. Max. Oh, okay. And speaking of which, you have a way for some people to see uh, it for free. Yes, we've got Fandango tickets, Linda Lichka, Don Burr, Mary Kimball, Mary Franklin, Karen Myers, Brett DeFranco, and Barb. 
and I don't know Barb's last name, but Barb, you won. Well, congratulations. Those people only need to give like share. one name. Yeah. We also yeah. have a grand prize winner, and that goes to Daniel Hernandez, and he nominated his parents as his champions because they were immigrants with little to no education who raised him and his two brothers to be successful college graduates. Aww, so and what, what does the grand prize get compared uh, to the others? Uh, uh, like a ton of different sports Ooh, things and nice. things having to do with King Richard. So. Well, that's cool. Okay, Harvest Moon Drive-In sounds like the place to be this weekend. Some neat things are going on in the community. Harvest Moon Drive-In, they're doing a holiday thing. Uh, they're showing The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, and uh, I'm blanking on the other one. Santa's uh, going to be there. Ooh. Oh, National uh, Lampoon's Vacation. Yes, my Santa's going to be there. They're going to have hot chocolate, gourmet popcorn, all sorts of holiday stuff. Get out to the drive-in this weekend. They're going to do this two weekends in a row. This is going to be fun. All right. I'm, I'm always up for National Lampoon's <laughs> And <laughs> if you are up for that or uh, just learning more about other movies that are in theaters or uh, available on demand, you can check out Chuck and Pam's Facebook page, their website, and make sure to sign up for their newsletter as well. We'll be back.